welcome to my channel in this video we are going to discuss 8051 microcontroller memory organization but the ram we are going to discuss in this video 8051 a silent features if you see it is a 8 bit cpu 64k program memory address space 64k data memory address space 4k b on chip program memory 128 on chip data ram and this only we are going to discuss in this video in detail 32 bit bar directional and individual addressable io lines two 16 bit timers counters are there it has a totally 40 pin ic and microcontroller is having cpu rom ram timer ports serial communication etc and uh, we are going to discuss about this on chip 128 byte ram in this video addresses are used in hexadecimal as all of us know 128 bytes location seven addresses seven address lines are needed and addresses from 00 to 7 f are assigned for 128 byte so i have taken a 128 byte RAM address starts from 00, 01, 02 up to 7F. And total 128 byte on chip RAM in that 4 register banks each 8 register. So we have 32 bytes uh, 4 register. We start from bank 0 whose address is 00207 and bank 1, bank 2 followed by bank 3. Bank 1 address is 0820F. You can observe 0820F is a bank 1. Similarly, bank 2 address is 10217, 10217. Bank 3 is 1821F, 1821F. So each register bank is a, can handle uh, 8 bits. 16 byte bit addressable is available. And it starts from 202 to F, total 16. I hope all of you know 0 to F. It will become not 15, including 0, it will become 16. Hence, 16 byte bit addressable. All these are byte addressable. Means at a time you can access all the 8 bits. You cannot access individual bit. But here you can access individual bit. And uh, byte address starts from 202 to F. And if you want bit address, it is there in the next slide. Individual bits of each byte can be accessed. That is a uh, starting from 2022F, whatever you have, any one bit also you can access easily. Four register banks are there. 16 um, byte bit addressable we have discussed. And we have general purpose 80 bytes are there. So general purpose 80 bytes starting from 3027F, it is a totally 80 bytes are available. And this is a area where you can use as a scratch pad or you can use to store a temporary data etc. And address is 3027F. A question may come in your mind. Which register bank we have to use or how we will come to know which bank we are using? So this bank selection is done by selecting a particular combination of PSW.4, PSW.3. It's a PSW is a register. Their fourth and third bit you can make 00011011 based on which bank you want to select. By default, when you switch on the power, the bits will be 00. By default, you will access the bank 0 only. Other banks can be selected by selecting a particular combination, whatever you want. But always, whenever you switch on the power, by default, bank 0 will be selected. How to access a bit addressable area? What are the addresses for that area? A question may come in your mind. These are all bit addresses. Individually, we can access. This address is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. Another question you may get in your mind. This is also 7, sir. This is also 7. 
which seven will be accessed it depends on is it a instruction working on bit or byte if it is on byte it will select this otherwise bit it will select this and this is summary we have a beginning bank 0 bank 1 bank 2 bank 3 followed by bit addressable then general purpose and again bank 0 is having r0 to r7 bank 1 is having r0 to r7 up to bank 3 is having r0 to r7 we have a special function registers also these are the name of the special function register and these are also having a addresses and these registers are used for particular function and b register i am using whenever i am uh, finding a multiplication of two numbers or any arithmetic operation i am doing i use a b register these are also having a unique addresses these are the addresses for example port p0 is having a 80 sp is having 81 like that 87 is a p count and similarly remaining and these are where nothing is written are not used in 8051 and these are addresses from 80 to ff these are all special function registers you cannot store your data or anywhere here this is the overall summary we can take a printout we can rewind we can listen again we can visit the blog for more information thank you for watching this video share this video if you like subscribe this channel thank you dhanyavadam